today we will see one another topic which is the image of a source with regard to a circle as i told you in the previous lecture that whenever there are certain boundaries inside the flow region then those boundaries may modify the flow pattern so in our order to avoid the complications which may be created due to the presence of the boundary we use the image system we saw in the previous lecture that whenever there is a boundary like horizontal boundary or some vertical boundary present in the system you may say the horizontal line or the vertical line present in the system then the sources and sinks at the one side are are the images of the sources and sinks on the another side or we may say that those boundaries may be discarded by assuming that the source on one side will have another source equidistant from the line similarly for sink and similarly for doublet now we also saw that whenever there are the inclined boundaries then how by using the conformal mapping we may convert those inclined boundaries to the horizontal or vertical boundaries similarly there may be the situation that there are circular boundaries present in the flow region so in order to uh, discuss the flow in such situations when and circular type of boundaries in the uh, flow region first of all we will see that what will be the what would be the image of a source with regard to a circle suppose i consider that this is a circular boundary inside the flow region in such a way that presently there is no source or sink inside the circle and this is the center of the circle and let there be a source at any point a in the flow region as it is source i am writing it as m o is its origin and let b be the inverse point of a regarding the circle so consider a circle of radius say r is equal to a let there be a source at a of strength n now we will consider this is what we are assuming consider that there is also a source at b such that be aware b is the inverse point of a let o a b f because there will be some distance of a from o then what is the relation between o a and o b this will be equal to a square by the property of the circle and then was point now o is f o b is a square and in this way we got the value of o b now we are in the situation that we have a source at a and we have a we have another source at a of the same strength now let p be any point in the flow region where we have to find or that is describe the flow let this be theta so p is arbitrary point 
in the plane of the circle. Now we will write the complex potential. We have one source at A. Sorry, you should join it. You take it. In. This is. Now we have a source at A. We have a source at B. So I am writing the complex potential due to source at A and B. So complex potential is W minus m log z minus the distance of this point f another source so minus m of the same strength log z minus now this point is at a distance a square upon f from o now as z is equal to r e raised to the power i theta so this is minus m log open r e raised to the pi theta r cos theta plus i r sin theta minus f minus m log in place of z again I'll write r cos theta plus i r sin theta minus a square upon f. Now we know that W is equal to phi plus I psi and if I have to prove that circle is like a streamline it simply means there is there is no flow across this circle there is no flow across this circle and this is the radial component of velocity this will be the transverse component so if there is no flow we are assuming that there is no flow across this boundary this r is equal to 0 and you can very well find this qr with the help of phi we know that delta phi delta r is equal to qr so i will separate the right hand side into real and imaginary part and then comparing i'll get phi for that i'll use of log x plus i y log x plus i y and by using that form, I'll get phi. Phi will be phi is in minus m by 2 log r square plus f square minus twice f r cos theta. You can very well count it. plus log r square plus a4 upon f square minus twice r a square upon f cos theta. This will be the value of phi. From here we can calculate delta phi delta r minus m upon r twice r minus twice f cos theta r square plus f square minus twice f r cos theta plus twice r minus twice a square upon f cos theta r square plus a4 upon f square twice r a square upon f cos theta now we are saying that delta phi delta r is 0 at r is equal to a so we will find what is delta phi delta r at r is equal to a you simply put a twice a twice f cos theta a square plus f square minus twice a f cos theta twice a twice a square upon f cos theta a square a4 twice a cube upon f cos theta and after solving by taking LCM and all you will get 
माइनस डेल्टा फाइव डेल्टा आर एट आर इज इक्वल टू ए इज इक्वल टू एम अपॉन ए नाउ व्हाट वी वांट वी वांट माइनस डेल्टा फाइव डेल्टा आर टू बी जीरो इट सिंपली मींस देयर शुड बी माइनस एम अपॉन ए हियर इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन एक्सप्रेशन वन सो इफ इन वन देयर इज a term minus m upon a then delta phi delta r will be zero and what does this term represent it represent a sink and where that sink should be that sink should be at origin so this implies there must exist a sink at origin of strength m so what we want to say we want to say that if there is a circular boundary inside the flow region and there is some source outside that circular boundary then the image of that source will be another source at the inverse point like this this is the point where there was source so corresponding to this circle there will be another source at its inverse point and a sink at the center so this is the result what is the conclusion for a source in the presence of a circle its image will be another source at the inverse point and sink at origin you again see this result i am saying that for is source in the presence of a circle so it may happen that your source is inside the circle and then what will happen corresponding to that source inside the circle there will be another source at the inverse point and a sink at origin so if the point is inside it will have its image system outside as well as a point at the origin okay the same exists for a sink for a sink uh, for a sink in the presence of a circle its image will be another sink at the inverse point and a source at origin both of the same strength so this is the final conclusion which is applicable for sink also and now we will see what would be the image of a doublet with regard to a circle because there may be the situation when there is a doublet in your flow region and a circle is present a circular boundary is present over there so image of a doublet with respect to a as you saw in the last article that if there was a source at a point c e then with respect to this circle there was another source at the inverse point and a sink at origin and a sink at origin now since we are talking about a doublet so there will be a combination of a source and sink suppose there is a sink at a dash 
then from the previous article the image of this sink would be another sink at the inverse point of it say b dash so there will be a sink at b dash and a source at origin let the axis of this doublet is inclined at an angle alpha with x axis then we see that image of a source at a is equal to another source strength m at b plus sink at o and what is the image of this sink again by the previous article image of a sink at a dash is equal to another sink at b dash plus a source at o so overall what we see that at o there is a sink as well as there is a source so what will happen both will be cancelled out and we are left with only a doublet which is bb dash so this implies as a image of a doublet we get another doublet this will be called at a we get another doublet at its inverse point b now the question comes about their strength let the strength of original doublet b mu so what is the definition of this mu mu is equal to m into distance between the two points a and a dash so a a dash in the limiting position when a tends to a dash this is the definition of strength further we know that if to find strength of this then strength of doublet at b b mu dash then what would be this mu dash limit b dash tends to b because we go from source to sink and here it is a a b tends to b dash sorry when b tends to be dash it is m b b dash now we have to find what is its value in terms of the uh, strength of the original source now i'll draw it on the next page also because i would need it you have this type of system you have a then b a dash and this is b dash here it is minus m i would not require these strengths etc so i'm not writing all these and this is o now b is the inverse point of a so o a into o b is equal to 
radius square similarly this is the inverse part of a dash so it is o a dash o b dash this is another relation which will be used later now this implies that o a upon o dash o a dash is equal to o b dash upon o b now look at this triangles o a upon o a dash o a upon o a dash that simply means we are talking about this triangle so triangle o a a dash O A upon O A dash is equal to O B dash upon O B, and this angle is common to the two triangles. So the triangle this and triangle O B dash B are similar triangles. And since these are similar, B dash B, because I have to put the value of B dash B. So B dash B. This is B dash B. O B dash. This B dash B will be compared with A A dash. A A dash upon O A dash. Or B dash B upon A A dash is equal to. O B dash upon O A dash. Multiply the two by O A A dash. Just a minute. B dash B upon O B dash. It will be O A. This is O A. This is O A. Multiply the two by O A dash, O A dash. Now what is O A dash into O B dash? O A dash into O B dash by two is A square. So it is A square upon O A O A dash. This implies B dash B is equal to A square A A dash upon O A O A dash. Now you look at the previous slide. We have to find this mu dash. This mu dash is limit b tends to b dash m b b dash. Therefore, mu dash is equal to limit b dash tends to b or b tends to b dash m b dash b now put all the values limit m a square a a dash upon o a o a dash or mu is equal to because in now in this case we are left with a a dash so this will be limit a tends to a dash a square is free from limit So a square limit a tends to a dash m a a dash one upon o a o a dash because when a dash a approaches to a dash there is no difference on this no effect on this a square and its value is mu and this is O A. What is O A? Distance of source, and what is O A dash? Distance of sink. So it is O A O A dash. This is the strength of image doublet. Yeah, doublet obtained by image system. In some books. A and A dash both are taken at at same distance from O, and in that case they write it to be f square A square mu upon f square if they assume O A to be f and O A dash to be f. So in this way, 
we come to know that if there is a doublet in the flow region and a circular boundary is present then the image of that doublet will be another doublet on the inverse point and by the similarity of the angles we may very well prove that this angle will be pi minus alpha and the strength of this doublet will be a square mu a is the radius of the circle so square of the cir uh, square of the radius of the circle into strength of the original doublet upon the multiplication of the distances of the source and the sink which were originally placed so thank you